All right, Aries, let's let's just dive right in. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's see what the overall energy for you guys is. What is the overall energy? If you guys are someone that tunes in regularly, I want to thank you so much for doing so. Um, I really appreciate the support. If this is your first time here, I do want to welcome you and everything that I do here is in love and light, in love and light only. Been very, very busy, so I haven't been on the channel as much as I would like to, um, but I will tell you guys now, the spiritual surgery that I had a couple months ago um, has really got me seeing a lot here, so I'm very excited to see what you guys have here because these readings are really straightforward, okay? You got the lover's card. This is your overall energy, Aries. Yeah. You guys need to make a love decision when it comes to something or someone. Yes. Okay. Foundation. Why is this coming down to a love decision? Okay. All right. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords and the Fool. Okay. 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 Let me meditate here. I'm getting some downloads. Yeah, some of you literally, okay, literally have um, started something new. So this is um, something new that um, you guys have been dealing with. So that for some of you, this is something, someone new, okay, that you've been dealing with, okay? Um, and there might be um, a little bit of suspicion when it comes to this person. Um, I feel like for some of you, you do want to take this leap of faith. But it's like, you know what? I really don't know this person. I don't know. I feel like I feel something. Is it, you know, residue from situations past that have no, nothing to do with this person? Should I take this risk? Um, and that's just for some of you. For some of you, um, this ace of wands is like action it's like wanting something new in all areas of your life okay um and feeling like you may have been cheated out of um you know certain aspects of your life and really wanting to start fresh and have that leap of faith and so um you know the lover's card could represent a particular like a romantic situation um, and needing to make a decision for some of you because it's like, okay, this is, you know, do I want a new start with this person? There's been deception in the past. Do we want to start fresh? Or this is someone new and I, I'm suspicious or is it just my own mind? Um, and I want to start, I want to have that leap of faith that things are going to work out well. Some of you, it's just like, you know, compromising um, situations. Like, you know, what is it that I love? Like, ultimately love in areas different areas of your life and you're looking at what do I love to do who do I love to be around who loves me that sort of thing and um really wanting to establish something new something exciting here um it, but I still feel like there's a feeling of being cheated out of starting something new having that leap of faith and in, in wanting something new so however that resonates um let's see here that's the scenario what needs to happen? A situation spirit. Let's do this. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a love situation. Knight of Wands. Okay. So there is some action that needs to be um, taken here. Um, let's see. Stubborn energy. <laughs> okay. All right. So this outside energy, 
All right, five of coins. This could have been someone that had left you out in the cold or rejected you in, in the past. Um, or this person um, blatantly left you for someone else, okay? Decided to, to leave here. Um, and this person may have um, tried to come back and, you know, try to heal some things with you. Um, and then you have this high priestess. Um, this is like having that, that deeper inner knowing. Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone that did leave you out in the cold in the past, maybe left you for someone else or just left you, period. Um, and then either you were hoping that this was going to come to balance or you guys were going to have some harmony, um, you know, and then, you know, there's some hidden things. There could be some secrets that this person had. This is the reason why they did this. Or this could just be you knowing, um, you know, that this person has rejected you in some type of way. And I feel like this is why um, this Seven of Swords is here. So there is an outside influence of someone. Someone here is dealing with someone that did leave in the past, left them out in the cold, rejected them in some type of way. And um, maybe did offer them like, okay, well, maybe we could work this out. And then there's this inner knowing. And it's like, you know what to do. You know the real deal, Aries. And it's like, you want this new beginning, but there's something inside of you that's like, you already know what's up. Okay. Um, this could be in a good or a bad. Maybe some of you know that there can be healing. And yes, this did happen in the past. He left you out in the cold or she left you out in the cold. She walked away. He walked away, um, left you for somebody else, whatever. Um, maybe they walked away for their own personal healing or whatever, and it still left you out in the cold. And you know this, and you know, you're trying to move past this and give them another chance. Um, and for some of you, I do feel like this is, um, a situation from past someone did this and they left you know whatever um and this is why you're a little apprehensive but um this this high priest is being here i feel like you know um what you should do let's see first let's do this first. okay <laughs> Okay, so in clarifying the Temperance card, okay, that follows the Five of Swords and the Chariot, okay? So this is like, okay, either somebody that did leave you out in the cold or rejected you in the past, left whatever, you know, wants to come back or did offer to come back and, you know, some harmony, some give and take here or whatever. Um, so just to clarify, this Temperance card, this Ace of Swords, yeah, like this is someone... Um, that's trying to bring in some clarity on why they left you out in the cold. Here we go with this, you know, five of coins again. All right. This is what we're trying to clarify. Um, and, you know, we have this um, eight or this uh, five of cups. They're coming in to apologize. OK, if they haven't already, they are trying to come in. They're trying to give you some mental clarity about why they did what they did. And they feel very sorry. OK. Um, this is what they're saying anyway. So for some of you, you feel this and you know this to be true. And this is why you're trying to give them another chance. Some of you, you're like, I don't know if I can, you know, accept this, believe this. So either this is the direct person that you're dealing with, or this is what's been done to you in situations past. Either way, this is why you feel like there's been some dishonesty here. Um, either with this person or in the past. And it's like, I really want to move forward, but I just don't know. Okay. Let's go back and clarify though. I'm very interested. Hi, priest. Hi, priestess. Okay. So, um, yeah, some of you know that this person is still holding back or they're, very selfish or they're holding on to you but that's just it um and some of you are like not even enthused it's like you know are you even really serious do i even have a soulmate coming are you the soulmate it's like i'm so disappointed like you're this high priestess i feel is just like 
it's it's like s still remembering it's like can't forget i know it's that inner knowing it's just like i know there's a reason why i'm pausing you know what i mean i feel like you guys know um let's look at this outcome here the outcome for your hands god dang it this fountain card just wants to come out everywhere okay let's we're gonna take all these all right so the first one that popped out was the nine of cups so i do see happiness coming your way which i'm very very happy okay um this fountain card, it's almost come out in every reading that I've done so far, okay? And it's usually very rare and it typically doesn't come out this often. But there is a lot of like self-actualization that needs to happen with a lot of people right now. This is like, what value do I bring to um, this world, to people? Um, you know, what's my purpose? Um, what are all aspects of me? What makes up me? And so I feel like there is going to be um, some inner love that does happen for yourself. Um, King of Coins. So I, I do feel like you are going to give some um, love generously. Um, I also feel like there is going to be in the near future some love that comes back to you. Because when you give love generously, you, you know, you get it back. The Empress, there is some new beginnings here, okay? Um, this is a new rebirth in life. All right. Um, three of cups, something to celebrate. Okay. So I do feel like you will have something to celebrate here. Um, and then knight of swords. Okay. I feel like there is going to be, um, some truths that, um, you'll be able to stress about yourself. Okay. For some of you. All right. This is the outcome for some of you. Now for some of you, I feel like there is going to be some inner self love that comes out of this. I feel like um, there is going to be someone here that is showing that they're very generous, okay, um, monetarily. Um, I feel like this could be someone that is, oh God, someone that is, that you would look as, someone that could be a, a mother or a father of your children um could be a mother or father of your children um the king of coins is typically like that father figure and then we have the empress right next to it which is like that mother figure so i feel like there is something there um when it comes to either someone that you have children with or you could see yourself having children with so in being very generous um but I also feel like with the Empress card in this Three of Cups, um, for some of you, there could be um, third party. There could be a pregnancy that comes out of a third party situation um, with from this person, this King of Coins, that is very, very, seems to be very, very generous in some way. It could be male or female. Um, and there is truth that comes out there's truth that is stressed here okay maybe you do see that this person has been in and out of your life all right and there is room for maybe the possibility that this person has been dealing with someone else possibly has um you know been having a third party situation um and there's a pregnancy that could come out of this um this is for This is directly for someone out there. This is not for the collective, okay? Um, there is someone out there, and this person will know who, who they are. This person, um, this person could be the other person. This person might know about, might be dealing with someone that is our, with someone that's already in a situation with someone, and they are the third party, and there is a pregnancy that happens here, and the truth needs to be, comes out here the truth needs to be stressed um but i feel like you are going to be happy about this pregnancy and it's going to be more so about you not about you know how this baby was conceived in the particular person um yeah 
So that is for someone specific. But for the majority of you, there is going to be um, some inner happiness that comes out of this. Um, you know, there is going to be some generosity that comes your way that you give to yourself that comes to you. Um, something that's worth celebrating. There's going to be this new revived feeling, this new birth within yourself. And, um, you know, you're going to feel free to stress the truth about who you are and what you really want. Okay. So this is very, very uplifting for most of you. Um, let's go ahead here. Let's get some angel advice. Angel advice for this particular situation. Okay, out they come. Number one, spiritual understanding. Um, it says, I am bringing you information and symbols helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? Um, we're talking about spiritual truths. We're also talking about um, this fountain card. This is like, what is true to yourself? What do you truly believe? What What is it that you um, connect with when it comes to yourself and others? That sort of thing. Angel therapy, okay? It says, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens, okay? Some of you, you know, have been worrying about this particular situation and it's like, you know, just give it to your angels. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Yeah, some of you are so focused on this particular situation with this individual. Um that you can't much focus on anything else okay and this is why you just need to give this to a higher being um and focus on your priorities and have that spe that spiritual understanding of who you are what you need to do um that sort of thing because i do feel like there is some spiritual growth here that does need um to take place okay all right here yeah some of the decisions that have been made have been made based on um, not wanting to feel, you know, left out or rejected or being afraid to move on, not looking within. Um, so you got to put those things in high focus of priority here. Let's see what the message is from the spirit. It says, dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your spirit? your soul rather than generated from your mind alone we are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good we are conduits for spirit letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy when you're feeling inspired it means you heard us inspiration means spirit is breathing through you Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on, these, on this earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Yeah, um, absolutely. I feel like this goes back to, you know, focus on your highest priorities. I will get you organized and motivated. All right, it's like you are definitely here for higher purpose, greater purpose than this situation. Um, you know, with this person making this love decision, um, you know, all these, the, all of these things that are happening with you in love in this particular situation, it's like, you need to find this happiness within yourself. Okay. This is your highest priority right now. And you should be inspired by that versus being inspired to figure out how this is going to happen, how this is going to work out. Who is the one for me like you have a greater purpose than that okay and once you seek yourself and seek your own you know passion and purpose and value and all those things you will be granted um you will be able to celebrate um what is all coming 
to you. You know, it will come to you generously, but you have to be able to look within first and really be inspired and motivated to do that first instead of looking on the outside and wondering what's going on with people and how you're going to, you know, address that. There needs to be some ambition and some action towards your greater good and figuring things out um, from an inner perspective, okay? 